Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to check in with you and tell you something cool about the phone I'm using, which has been the same phone for, a, well, almost a year maybe, the Samsung Galaxy S10. I know there's, they've, you know, made like more since this one, <laughs> but as they usually do. But something really cool um, came along, the latest update that I did. Although I just looked on YouTube and it seems like this has been an option for a good few months now, maybe longer, I don't know. But I love using the pro photo mode on my Samsung Galaxy, but I was always kind of frustrated that there wasn't a pro video mode, at least not on my phone. I really looked for it and it didn't seem to be there, but then I did the big update recently and now I just randomly uh, just had a look and I saw that there was a pro video mode and what that basically enables me to do is much like a kind of DSLR high-end camera where you can go in and adjust all the different settings. You can do that now on the phone here. And the resolution, I think I'm shooting in something crazy at the moment. I don't know, I put all the settings on max. Uh, it's taken up a lot of memory space on the phone, so I'll, I'll just have to make more space. But I mean, the footage that you're getting, um, I mean, on the phone screen here as I'm filming, it's fil like it's filling the whole screen and it's so clear. I mean, look at that, hand action. But I'm really just pumped up now to do some videos because, you know, one of the main sort of frustrations with uh, shooting videos with the phone was sometimes it wasn't giving a true representation of color when it comes to certain characters' outfits, like the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, his shirt always looked blue. Uh, whereas now you'll see a true representation of color, like with the Michael Myers figure here with the custom Yunsil final run coveralls you're getting that beautiful kind of charcoal gray, but with a hint every now and then when it comes around, a little sprinkle green in there. Not much, but just that really, really nice footage that I'm able to capture for you now. So just once again, just super, super pumped to show you some cool stuff in the future now using this pro video mode on the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now, while I'm waiting for those Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Part 4 and 5 Myers figures to turn up that I'm going to review for you, I'll probably bust out a few repost sessions now that I've got this pro video mode. But let's just take a quick look at Joaquin Phoenix and see how that shirt looks with this new update. So yes, finally, you're seeing a green shirt the way it's supposed to be. And also the focus seems so much better now as well. Like before I always had to touch the screen with my finger constantly as I'm filming to get it to keep focusing on the right thing. But I mean, I haven't touched the settings as far as focus goes. It just seems to know what to do. So that is awesome. I mean, I'm moving around, getting close, backing up, and I'm just having a real easy time of it. Let's get right up in this grill here. A little zoom action for you. That's a beautiful piece right there. All right. I am loving this pro video mode, folks. This is gonna make my job a lot easier. A lot more satisfying. Do love my Samsung phones. I've had a few of them now. I think the last one was the S8 Plus. This is the S10. I know there's like a, was it an S20 now or something? I bet that blows this one away, but this will do for now. All right, from one Joker to another Joker, we got Mr. Heath Ledger now. And that damn blade keeps Going back in, come around, come on, let me go in, see if I can pull this out. No, I can't do that. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Hey, no, bollocks. You, yeah, let's try that again. Let's try again. Hey, there we go. That's what you get. That's a bit too warm, isn't it? There we go. That's better. That's better. Man, I'm loving the footage that this is get picking up now. I mean, this looks this looks savage. Let's get some zoom action. Let's go all the way live. 95. Holy! How much zoom do you want? 
I mean, it looks terrible, but it's all, it goes all kind of weird and cartoony looking, but that's some pretty impressive zoom right there. <laughs> I'll love the back of the hair. Won't wait for that to come around again. Shout out to Mr. Stephen Maurice. for his amazing job. But check out the back of the hair. I love this. Yeah, looks real nasty, just like it should. What's up, mister? Holy crap, weasels. This figure looks incredible. Um, and also even more scary than usual because I've just noticed there's a spider web between his two hands. Oh, God. I hope the the creator of that web is not attached to this guy right now. I'm not, I'm not a fan of spiders, but oh, you can see the web. See it? See that web action? Oh man, I need to dust him. Oh, I can do that right now. How do you clean your figures, Dean? Well, I'll show you. Just like that. That's how I do. Please don't fall over. He's a big chap. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Almost lost you. See, even that looks incredible. Okay, well, I've just opened his mouth, got the inner jaw coming out. I honestly can't stress how incredible that looks on the screen right now. The lighting, the the light just bouncing off his you know, outer kind of skeleton that he has. Exoskeleton, what do you call it? I don't know, but holy crap, that looks amazing. Pardon my French. Je m'appelle Dean. Poulet. Yeah, I think that's chicken. I didn't want to take French in school. They wouldn't let me take German. I wanted to take German because I've always been into World War II and I wanted to understand what the uh, the enemy was saying. But no, learn French, Dean. But that just looks ridiculous. Um, that is immense. I don't want to keep you, but there's a whole bunch of other figures. I really want to know what it looks like. Damn, look at that. Jesus. You can't beat the original when it comes to the alien. Yeah. You want tip butchers at Dark Knight? There he is. Man, oh man. Craven. Craven, that sweet figure action. He's a big one. Beautiful custom velvet cape there. Just so black. You can't even really can't even really see it. But it's there. Let's zoom action. There we go. Quarter scale. One of Hot Toys best. Looking fantastic. I'm leaning back as far as I can go. I'm still going to get them all in shot. There we go. Well, we'll wrap things up with old Snakey Snakerson here from Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake Eater. Really proud of this figure. Get back into him again because I've been playing so much Ghost Recon Wildlands. Obviously, Snake's not in that game, but there was a nice little reference to him at one point with the Sam Fisher mission. He was asking about... Uh, an infiltrator who uh, wore a bandana and they told him that he retired and Sam looked a little bit sad for a minute he was definitely talking about Snake here and then he kind of mumbled to himself how he's the only one left so it got me thinking you know what was it Splinter Cell Blacklist was that the last one that was a few years ago it'd be nice if they went back and well make a new Splinter Cell game but really take inspiration from Chaos Theory that's my favorite one. Just just back to basics, just missions. Don't worry about all that stuff about his daughter and this time it's personal and all that crap. Just missions, just different locations. And let's just uh, get some some Sam Fisher action. There, is there any Sam Fisher figures? Like one six scale? I don't think I've seen any. But anyway, I'm supposed to be talking about Snake. Well, I'm supposed to be going because I didn't want to keep you too long. But that's a beautiful piece, man. That's the Hot Toys head sculpt. Uh, but everything else, well, the gun's hot toys, his gloves are hot toys. Anyway, ramble, ramble, ramble. That's pretty much it, folks. Drop a like on the video, help me out a bunch if you could. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Hit the bell, icon notifications, coming to you through email if you do. 
every time I upload a video. And check us out at our store at www.thefigurepit.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Figure Pit, and the Instagram, Figure Pit, and my Instagram at Dean Knight333. Plenty of pictures and clips. Just did a random little room tour on Instagram Live. Uh, so that's up there now. You can check that out. And anything else I've got to tell you? I don't think so. That's about it. All right. Watch out for the Halloween 4 and 5 Trick or Treat Studios figure reviews coming up soon, as well as some other goodies. And I'll see you on the next live stream. Thank you, all of you out there who keep tuning into those live streams. You're very loyal and just really appreciate how just awesome you guys have been, man. Thank you. You make uh, an already really fun hobby a lot more fun. So take care of yourselves. Look after each other. See you soon.